My name is Matthew McLean, and I'm one of the product managers for the Volvo Excavators, specifically the midsize, so going from the 140 up to our 305. What we're unveiling today on the 220 is going to be Dig Assist. Dig Assist is an app. It runs on what we call the Copilot Display. The Copilot Displays is what Volvo is putting on all our machines, and we're developing apps specific to the application. So Dig Assist will be the excavator app. What it allows you to do is just do a project on the fly. You would touch the hard hat, say Add Project. We'll give it a name. I'm going to use the default. And then it'll select a, a type of task to work from. If you're going to be doing a ditch or a slope, or you can do, say, a basement, a pool, any kind of project, you can just touch the screen, you know, load some basic ones. For an example, say if you have a pool, you've got five acres around, you can select to do a plan. We'll do an L-shaped pool here. It gives you a basic one. You just grab the dots, start grabbing these. You can move the screen, adjust this. You would then add dimensions. You would say, say, 40 feet, 50 feet. This is a big pool, 10 by 10. When you get it the way you want, you hit set. You select two points, you know, where you are relative to your machine so that you can actually start digging. You're just going to say arbitrarily, that point and that point, you'll orient the machine right in that location. In real life, what you would do is you would select one of these bucket teeth, stamp them in the ground, and that would tell the computer where you are relative to the plan that you just drew. And then you hit set. It's a pool, so we'll give it a depth. You just kind of swipe down, yeah, make it a relatively deep pool. Set, save, because it's a file. And then it's going to give you the views you can work from. If the views aren't the ones you want, you click the thing that looks like window panes, and you go to the ones that are available. You can have up to four, and another thing you could tie it into is our third camera system that's up there. That's going to be Volvo Smart View. There's one on the counterweight, there's one on the side of the machine, and one right above the cab. And what happens, once you activate that, we'll go back to the main screen. Oh, I forgot to type that one, so let me tap that real quick, get Smart View. So you get your different views that are available. The green line is going to be not only your target, but also your shape. If you need to get more detail, you just double tap on a screen, and just like your phone, you use the same mechanism, just pinch or expand, double tap, and you can get the view modified the way you want it to make it very simple. The Smart View screen can show up here, and it's going to give you a bird's eye view of what's around the machine. If somebody's walking up behind you, you'll have visibility to the person coming up. You can stop the machine before they get too close into your danger area. Now, for you, when you're working on the machine, maybe you don't want to look right at the screen all the time while you're operating over here. What you can do is touch this corner, this little arrow comes out, and you've got these guide colors over here. You can stretch that out as far on the screen as you want and what it's going to do is as you move the bucket, these colors are going to light up and it's going to be kind of a hot, cold type of scenario. If you're way too high, it's going to be in the deep blue saying you're cold. You're way away from your target. If you go too far, they're going to be in the orange and red saying you just dug too deep. You're supposed to avoid that. But the thing is, you can make that as big as you need so when you're operating over here, you'll just see those colors in the corner of your eye giving you the green light when you get to your target. If you need to, you can set a depth alarm if you're working around power lines, you can set a height alarm so you're not going to get the bucket up in the power lines and damage something. So these are things that you can just program into the machine and they're going to use the sensors on there. And right now you're still effectively in two to two and a half D operation. This particular program was in field design. If you need to upgrade to a full 3D package, those will be preloaded on the machine. Let me just pull that down right quick. We've partnered with Trimble and Topcon you would simply make a call, get the access code, put that in there, and then you could access the 3D software. When you bought the basic 2D package, all of the equipment was loaded on the machine. All your inertial measurement sensors, the laser catcher, on the back of the machine will be your two satellite antennas and a smart receiver. So when you buy the basic package, everything you need for 3D is already there, but if you don't need it, you don't pay for it. If you want it, you just upgrade the software to where you need it for the job you're doing.